Hello guys, and today I'm going to show you how a seemingly innocent, seemingly pointless pawn move actually helped to get checkmate by blocking a bishop. Now, this was the game I had. I wanted to experiment with castling queenside. That was the idea behind this. But it never actually happened. So far, I seem to be doing very, very badly. And this even implies that um, soon there's even a possible checkmate where I'm doing terribly. Okay, it looks like there's even a possible um, checkmate according to this but I haven't explored it yet um, anyway I didn't spot it and neither did they but the evaluation gives the impression that it's, it's a guaranteed checkmate or something similar so I saw my king was being um, pinned in so I moved it out of the way I'm busy trying to double protect their knight for some reason. I move my knight out. What I really want to do is open up the um, A file, so the H file, okay? To me it would be A, but it's actually H, so the The column on the left. Also, I didn't like the um, knight being where it was. It was a bit. It was quite threatening. So. Now, interesting. They castled. Um, So. so what the hell was I talking about earlier when I was talking about castling queenside? I haven't got a clue. But it's not relevant to this anyway. Um, no, I haven't a clue what I was talking about when I was talking about... But it was part of an initial plan, but things didn't go quite as planned. So anyway, um, but it's not relevant to this. Go back a bit. I'm obviously getting ready to attack. Sorry, I'll just. It's okay, I'll just. When I do it on the um, crack ball, it often doesn't do it live. If things are going to go wrong, they'll go wrong when you're filming. Right, so they took um, a pawn. Great, which is pretty much what I wanted at some point. Because then I can later open up the file once the queen their queen moves out somehow, threatening their bishop. Move out, they move it out of the way, and then take a pawn because I can. Because I'm trying to open up. They are now threatening to take my bishop. So I move my queen to protect it, and then take a pawn. I take a pawn in the full knowledge that um, 
the queen will not take it because otherwise they'll lose their queen. But what I really, really, really am desperate for is to try and open up the file on the left. They then... Take a pawn, threatening to take my rook. This is where it gets really, really interesting, guys. Now, I threaten their queen. They move their queen out of the way. I now take the pawn, which is what I wanted all along. So now, the H file on the very, very left is now opened up completely. They now don't want to lose their queen, so they move here. I then move my bishop to threaten their queen. They move here. It will do for now. I will, I now move my bishop again to threaten their queen. They then move it onto a dark square so that my bishop cannot threaten it. Now, things are now going to start to get interesting. I move my knight out. This seems like a very strange move, but I actually want to protect the diagonal. So I want to protect the diagonal here. This is what I'm trying to protect. This diagonal. Because what I want to do is somehow, I go back there a minute, what I want to do is somehow move my queen here. And then there. But I'm prevented from doing so by this bishop. Because if I move this bishop, if I move the queen there, the bishop will take it straight off. So I put my knight in to block it. The bishop gets greedy and take a rook I don't care too much about. Now, I'm not fully sure why I did this, but I think it was potential distraction. I also don't like that queen there for various reasons. So, just in case it decides to do something. At the moment, I'm now threatening a fork. I'm threatening a fork here. And then from there... If that happens, then I'm threatening this, and this, and this. I don't know how you change the colours on this, to be honest. I know that some people know how to use it better than I do, but with different colours, but I'm afraid I'm new to some of this, so please bear that in mind.
However, the, the knight never actually gets moved. They immediately see what I've, I'm trying to do. So they stop it. Because if I move the knight there, then the queen will take it. Now, I'm going to do a move which is going to seem totally pointless. But it is what this entire video is about. This entire video is about the next move I do. And the next move I do is I move a pawn up. It looks innocuous. It looks pointless. Why did I move it up one place rather than two? It doesn't seem to be very useful. But it is absolutely lethal. As I pointed out earlier, my plan is to try to move the queen here. And I needed to move the pawn there to stop it. Now, the bishop doesn't want to take this pawn because if it does the knight will then take the bishop so the bishop will stay there I believe and it does it's a move which as I said is lethal but looks totally innocent it's the sort of move most people would not notice. I think it's just a move of an amateur and perhaps not think too much about it. But it is lethal. The next move was to move a pawn down to threaten my knight. At this point, They have practically lost the game. Now, many people would probably do something like this. They would possibly instead move the knight there, threatening a, for, threatening a fork in check and causing my opponent to lose their queen because there is check and the queen cannot move so they would lose their queen I could take their queen or I could take their rook it wouldn't matter which I took but uh, most people would take the queen however I don't even bother with it instead of trying to take their queen I instead did this now my opponent probably couldn't believe that look they probably thought I blundered I they had I had the chance to take their queen off and didn't and they probably can't understand why and if I thought it's a massive blunder, they see the threat on, on their queen, and so they decide to take. Just a minute. Just a minute. And they decide to threaten my knight. Okay? So going back. In fact, they don't even get the chance, so let's see what do I do. Yeah. And so as I said, I moved my queen up. So I don't even bother 
trying to protect them, the night at all. For some reason that I don't understand, they moved their queen back. I think what they were trying to do was threaten my rock. They thought to themselves, great, we can try and take his rook off. And by doing that, it looked as if, if I protected my um, rook, I would lose my knight. And if I protected my knight, I would lose my rook. Also, they thought, well, if I actually did um, try to move my knight later there, then if once the queen had taken my rook, then it could come and take the knight as well. However, none of that mattered, because now they had lost the game completely. The next move, which was only possible because I'd actually got the pawn there, if I hadn't got the pawn there, I couldn't have moved the queen here. Because that would have stopped it. Anyway. Next move. Checkmate. All possible. Because I moved that pawn. As I said, that move looked totally innocent, completely pointless, but was absolutely lethal. So there you go, guys. Using a pawn to block one of your opponent's pieces, allowing you to get checkmate. Thanks for watching. Bye.